What's going on guys? Another beer review. This one I'm uh, really anxious to try. This is Stone's Enjoy By. And the concept behind this is basically they started doing these IPAs and they wanted to put the actual date as to when it's goodbye. Uh, so, you know, you the consumer and me, all of us, can uh, make sure you have the freshest product. A lot of times the uh, big, you know, macro breweries and the, the huge companies, they'll, they'll, you know, you get a beer at the store or whatever and it could be a couple weeks or months old. And the concept again behind this was getting the freshest possible. But because this is above 8%, this is 9.4%, this is also good to age. So I got uh, two bottles of this, one to age, one to try fresh. This happens to be the 420 edition. So it's 42014 by Stone. It says on top here, it's devastating. Devastating? <laughs> Devastatingly dank. So there it is. And if you can read, it makes the experience oh, though not that much better. Cool logo. I love that. All right, so the back here says, live for the now, the present. You have in your hands a devastatingly fresh double IPA. Freshness is a key component of many beers, especially big, happy IPAs. But we've taken it further, a lot further, with this one. We brewed this IPA specifically not to last. We've gone through extensive lengths to ensure you get your hand, get your hands on this beer within an extraordinarily short window. And we've sent a very, very clear message in the name of the beer itself that there is no better time than right now to enjoy this IPA. So, very cool. Um, you can go online and find all the different dates when they started this, but I thought because it's green and it's the 420 edition that it was extra fun and cool. And uh, I like IPAs for that very reason. It's a very similar taste. So, let's crack this open. 9.4% ABV, and although this is not a Pilsner, oh, it smells good. I am using a Pilsner glass because I like this glass a lot since I got it. So, here, give that a whiff. Christina's off to my side. I congested, I can smell that. Yeah, she's congested, but it's pretty strong. Oh my god. That smell good? Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Tons of citrus, a little bit of floral notes. Very, very pungent. Just really kind of sour smelling, but in like a really good way. It smells fantastic. So. Fill my glass up. We have training day on in the background. Well, not in the background now, it's paused. But Christine never saw it, so. One of my favorite Denzel movies. It's great so far. Yeah, it's really good so far. Um. I was just telling her, I like the uh, Spyderco scene. He whips out the Spyderco police, fully serrated knife. <laughs> I love seeing knives in movies. Anyway, lots of head on this, but it's also the glass design. The smell of the glass is the same. It's identical. It smells really like a really good, strong IPA. It actually smells a little bit slightly sweeter in the, the scent than most uh, IPAs that I've had. But anyway... I'm dying to try this, so here we go. Mm. That is really good. What sets this apart, in my opinion, from other IPAs is it's more floral. There's much more floral taste and smell. It's slightly on the sweeter side, although you get tons of that bitterness that you're expecting. It has a sweeter note to it. Excuse me. God bless you. She got a cold. Poor baby. My baby. Mmm. It's really good though. Yeah. Just uh, a lot of the same IPA flavors. A lot of like citrus rind. Uh, but there's a sweetness there that's really nice. The bitterness is not overwhelming. Some IPAs, I mean, even though they're very robust and strong... They have an extremely um, uh, pungent bitterness to it. That's what makes them kind of, you know, intense. Uh, with the higher alcohol level here, it's very, very smooth. And I think, I think that's really the reason why you get that little bit of extra sweetness as opposed to the bitterness is because there's some unfermented sugars in there. So, fantastic. I'm going to fill my glass up. I'm going to sip on this while you enjoy the rest of the movie. And I will see you guys later. When I'm on the last sip, to give my final thoughts on this. But so far, so good. 
Um, just a really enjoyable uh, double IPA. So I'll be back in a little while. All right, guys, we're back. Actually, turn the line up a little bit here. All right, so we got the last sip here. Training Day is an awesome movie. I know that because I already saw it. Uh -huh. Christina, what did you think about the movie? Nothing to do with this video, but there you go. <laughs> Alright, um, on the flavors on this, I think it's fantastic. It's really, really good. Definitely like a top 10 all-time best IPAs. Of course, this is a double IPA, a lot higher in the alcohol content, but I actually like what that's offering. It's offering a little bit of a sweeter um, flavor overall. Uh, it's cutting down a little bit on that bitterness, although, you know, the more you drink it, the more that bitterness kind of sneaks in and kind of bites your cheeks, you know, and gives you a little bit of a pucker. Um, the only thing that really sets this apart from other IPAs that I really enjoy is the floral notes. This is the, the not the first, but definitely the only IPA, or at least double IPA, that has a, a very distinctive floral flavor. And uh, at first, I'm not sure if I really liked it. I mean, you know, at, I should say at first I did like it. Then as I was drinking it, I'm like, you know, I don't know if I prefer this over something else. And the floral is nice because it's different. But overall, I don't, I don't like the floral as much as some of the other uh, offerings out there. So not my top three. My top three list as of right now still stands. Uh, Victories, Dirt Wolf, by far. Awesome, awesome IPA, my favorite. Um, second place is probably going to be Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA. Definitely a really good solid IPA. Uh, and third for me is still Hop Explosion. But uh, I would say this is probably number four or five. Uh, kind of a tie in there with the, uh, you know, like uh, Dogfish Head 60 Minute and maybe, uh, maybe Hop Devil. Definitely uh, in and around there. Totally different uh, profile though with that floral note. But... Uh, my point being is it's a really good, solid double IPA. And uh, one of my favorites, just not my top favorite. Would I get it again? Yes. Uh, I do like it uh, enough to, uh, to definitely get it again. So we'll leave it at that. But anyway, that's uh, Stone's Enjoy By. Uh, I'm going to age the other bottle that I have. And I might try another one, another batch, to really see how they compare within each other. Obviously, this is part of the same batch. So if I get one a month from now or two months from now, or even if I get like one that was uh, from a previous month, it might have slight differences, and I'm curious to see if uh, if that's true. But anyway, I would recommend getting it if you're an IPA liker. Uh, if you enjoy those flavor profiles, it's definitely worth checking out. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.